In this video, I'm going to show you how to divide using renaming. Um, so here we have a little bit trickier numbers. Um, it's where they can't be divided as equally, uh, but instead we can use a few tricks to make sure that we find our answer. So today's question is 4,530. So if I pop that down, and we're dividing this number by three. So we are grouping it into three parts, three sections. Now, just to make it clear today, we're going to take this one step further, and I'm going to split my place value grid here into three, and you'll see why in just a moment. Now I'm going to show you how to divide with renaming using the written, or what you may know more commonly as the bus stop method. So we're going to use the same numbers again. So we're starting off with 4,530. And we're dividing that by three. OK, so like before, you don't need a huge space for the bus stop method. All you need is somewhere where you can write your answers and obviously work your numbers out. So we are going to go ahead and we're going to start laying out our bus stop method over on this side of the page. So my um, number is 4530. And if I pop that into bus stop, so remember bus stop, you do a tick like your teacher does on your work and then drag it across the top of your numbers. And on the outside, so here, you're going to put the number that you are dividing by, and we are dividing by three. Okay, so everything we do today will be divided by three. Now that we are set up, we're ready to go. So we're going to start with our first number, which is in our thousands column. Okay, so we need to ask, what is four divided by three? Okay, now this doesn't work out equally. So we know that four divided by three can go equally once, but there is one remainder, there is a leftover of one. Okay, now we're going to show that in our bus stop method. So because it's one whole, it goes on top, and this remainder here, so what we have left, we rename that into the next column, so that goes into our hundreds column. Okay, so now instead of 500, we have 1500. Okay, so moving into the hundreds column, we are now going to do 15, divided by three, and that makes five. This five now goes on top of our bus stop method. There's no remainder here, so we don't need to put any renaming in, um, and we can just simply move on to our tens column. So now, what is three divided by three? We know that makes one. One goes on top, again, nothing to rename. And finally, our ones column has nothing in it, and where there's nothing to divide, we just pop the zero there. So we now know that 4,530 divided by three makes 1,510.